What's up guys? In this video today, I'm going to share with you 10 principles to get a high performing body. My name is Martin. I'm an online fitness coach. I help busy dads and entrepreneurs to get in shape and boost energy. I initially created those principles for my online coaching clients so that they get better results. You know, get stronger, leaner, more muscular. And when I went over those principles, I realized this is about way more than just fitness. In fact, you can apply it to work, business, family, any area of your life and you will be successful there too. So take them to heart. And with that being said, let's get started. First principle, aim for progress, not perfection. And I see this all the time in the fitness space that someone starts a new training program, they start a new diet, and the moment they slip up, the moment that they have this little piece of chocolate, they think it's over. They think they messed up and it's not worth paying attention to what they eat. And you don't even need to work out anymore because, well, you messed up, right? This is black and white thinking. This is all or nothing. And let me tell you, it doesn't work like that. You don't need to be perfect all the time. I've been in this game for over 16 years. And let me tell you, I'm not perfect all the time. In fact, right now, as we're traveling, my diet is far from perfect because I want to try different foods. I want to have the ice cream every now and then. We have the weekly pizza night. So you don't need to be perfect to progress. And that brings me to the word progress. This is what we actually aim for. Take a snapshot of you today, your team performance, your picture, your uh, body weight, and then in two months from now, you do it again and then you compare. And when you see, okay, you're getting leaner, you're getting stronger, you look better, and that's great. Then you're on the right path. So keep that in mind. You don't need to be perfect. All we aim for is progress. Second principle, focus on what you can control. So I'm going to open up here. Before I did this podcast, I did it already twice, okay? The first time <laughs> the, the battery ran out of my uh, microphone here. The second time the microphone broke. The camera literally fell down and the microphone broke. Great. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was annoyed, but I said, okay, come on. I'm going to replace the camera respectively the, the microphone and then I'm just going to start again. On the plus side, I have no practice, so it's easier when I do it the third time, right? The thing is, those things happen, right? It's just part of life, whether it's an earthquake, a pandemic, whether you get sick, it just happens, right? Whether the microphone breaks, maybe the camera breaks right now, could be. Maybe my mobile phone breaks, I don't know. Like those things happen and yeah, it's annoying, but it's not worth spending energy or time into it because you don't have control over those things, right? And if you put your happiness, if you rely on those things, those external factors, then guess what? You will never be happy, never, right? What I want you to do is to channel all this energy into things that you can control, right? And that starts with what you eat, no matter whether you're sick, no matter where we are, like no matter what happens to you, you can still control what you put into your mouth. You can still control whether you go to the gym or not. You can still decide what content you're going to absorb, right? Whether you watch the news or not. And this is what you need to put your energy into. Because if you create the list, I'm going to work out four times this week. I'm going to eat healthy three times a day. And you take all these boxes, then guess what? you're going to feel very good about yourself, right? So the next time you're facing a challenge, ask this, is it in my control? Yes, then change it, like fix it, take action, right? If it's out of your control, well, get over it, okay? Life goes on. There's nothing you can do about it. Third principle, celebrate wins on a daily basis. And I think we're all guilty of this, that we in life see all those little negative things like this, for example, my microphone broke or maybe, you know, a cheat meal that I had two days ago, or maybe I, I pressed the snooze button in the morning and then I slept in. Didn't happen by the way, but could be, maybe it happened to you. And we stress about those little things, right? When in fact, we should focus on the positive things. You see, 
when you start a new fitness program and you go to the gym week after week and then fifth week you miss one session and you're saying oh man i messed up i should have gone i i uh, disappointed myself well guess what right now two two months ago you go now three times a week you eat better you probably put more focus on recovery you sleep better and whatnot so that's awesome besides you got up this morning you're having something to eat and whatnot celebrate wins and sometimes yeah it's difficult to see those wins and this is also where a coach comes in how many times i have to tell my clients um when they come to me martin i, I don't progress like uh, it feels everything is so slow um i don't know you know whether i'm moving the right direction and i open up the app and i see okay well you've done all the workouts you're getting stronger every single workout um what about this and they're like uh yeah actually that's true right that's that's true or someone says look um i still have 10 kilograms to lose and man it takes so much time and again we open up the app we track uh we monitor the progress and it's okay you were like 90 kilograms now you're uh, 83 within seven weeks um i think you're moving the right direction i say uh you're right you're actually right so celebrate those wins instead of looking at i'm still having 10 kilograms to lose also like tap on your shoulders and say man you've lost seven kilograms that's amazing right focus on those positive things because we need a positive mindset right like we don't want to fall into this negative trap where we just eat negative things and we're getting all moody and irritated so yeah celebrate wins on a daily basis right fourth principle here be willing to learn and improve because no matter how good you are at something there's always other areas you can improve there's always someone who knows a little bit more maybe um i'm good at coaching maybe i'm good at losing body fat or whatnot but maybe there is I mean, not maybe, there is like so many people that know more about marketing. There are so many people they know more about copywriting. There are people that know more about, I don't know, cooking, whatever it is, playing an instrument. Um, and at no point in your career, you should say, okay, I'm at the top and uh, I cannot improve from there. Because when you say that to yourself, guess what? You will stop improving. It's all downwards from there. So. I want just to remind you that you never know everything, right? You never know everything and like there's always things you can learn no matter uh, who you speak to. Even if you think someone, oh, this person again, it's an idiot or you know, you know it from, uh, from, you know, high school and it was always mean to you. They evolved as well. They maybe have some skills. Um, they maybe have contacts that you could need. So. Keep that in mind um, and open, be open-minded, like accept inputs, feedback, and just try to constantly improve yourself. Number five, embrace challenges, right? Embrace challenges. When I went to Brazil and I had Lara and I had to learn the language and they had to organize the visa and the car and health insurance, and I wanted to scale my business, and then also my partner had depression. Oof, I had uh, a ton of excuses to not go to the gym, right? But instead of taking this excuse, I said, okay, I'm gonna prove the world that you can be in top physical shape as a father, as an entrepreneur, as someone who is super busy, right? And no matter what your situation you're in right now, you see it as an adversity right now, but you can always turn it around and see it as an exciting challenge. So the next time you see you face a challenge, ask yourself, is it a problem or is it an exciting challenge, right? It's just nothing changes. Something happens to you. You cannot change that, but you always have the choice. You can decide how you react to it, whether you see it as something that drags you down and is annoying, or whether you say, okay, I accept the challenge, it's just another challenge I need to overcome to get stronger, right? Next principle, put your ego aside. Put your ego aside. And this applies mainly, not only, but mainly to the gym, because if you go to the gym and you see someone who bench press 120 kilograms, 
you don't need to press the same amount of weight, right? And this brings me back to, I think it was number um, one, where I said, you don't need to be perfect, but you need to progress, right? You don't need to be the strongest of the gym. You don't need to look like this other guy. What you want is to be stronger than the last time, right? So if you do five kilograms bench press, I mean, yeah, it's not a lot, but if you're, if you're starting, we all start somewhere, right? If you're starting with five kilograms, next time you do six, and still 20 kilograms less than the guy next to you, then that's fine because you progressed, right? Don't try to be this guy who tries to keep up with everyone else because if you take them too much weight, form is off and risk of injury is too high. So don't do that. Leave ego at the door. All right. Then number seven, don't compare yourself with others. In fitness, the truth is I will never look like the guy on the cover, right? I will never look like this fitness model, never look like this bodybuilder. I will never, never even look like my friend because you cannot pick your genetics and your genetics will play a part in how you look, right? Um, don't try to be someone else. In business, it's the same. Like, if I see someone who has so much more success than me, who has more money and has like even the sports car and all of that, and I feel bad about myself and I'm asking myself, why do I not have this, right? So don't do that. Just don't do that. You have no idea about his background, whether, whether he got money from the parents, maybe he uses performance enhancing drugs, maybe he has no uh, friends, all, all he has is business, or he has like three hours time to work the other day, I don't know. But don't compare to others unless you want to be disappointed and, and unhappy. And turn it around, if you want to be happy and be proud of yourself, then just compare yourself with your previous version, right? Number eight, trust the process. Trust the process in a sense of once you start the program, trust the process, follow it through. There will be setbacks. There will be, if you're on a fat loss journey, there will be the moment where your weight stagnates, right? And you probably reach out to the coach and says, coach, I haven't lost a kilogram in like 10 days. Maybe it's off. Maybe I need to start something new change diet and whatnot and uh no no you don't need that most of the times you need just to be more consistent and then trust the process remember it takes time to change yourself to change your body to lose body fat build muscle it takes time to build a business it takes time to learn a skill right learn the instagram no matter what it is and um if you're doubting yourself if you're doubting your program and whatnot what happens then you have the tendency to switch to another program and to the next one, to the next one, and you don't get the results because you were not patient enough, right? Unless you're super unhappy and you really doubt your coach and the program and, uh, you know, but that's your homework anyway, that before you start the course or program or hire a coach, that you do your research, that you ask for testimonials or whatnot. And then when you decide to go with a program, then stick to it. Stick to it and trust the process. There will be always times where it gets easier, where it's get harder, whether there are obstacles you have to overcome. Trust the process, trust the process, all right? Brings me back to number nine. Now, ninth principle to get a high performing body. Ask for help if needed. Ask for help if you feel lost. Don't suffer in silence. You know, for my clients, if they feel they feel that they are stuck. If they have questions, is, is this actually right what I'm doing? Uh, should I eat this or that? Uh, what about this protein bar or this whey protein is good? Reach out to me. This is what I'm here for. And with everything else in life, it's the same, right? If you're struggling with your relationship with your spouse and get help, there's counselors out there. Um, if you have mental health problems, ask for help. Maybe it's enough if you speak to a friend who went through the same thing. If not, see a therapist. Easy as that. In business, if you don't see your move, your business moving, if you cannot scale your business, hire a business coach. This is what I've done like multiple times. And fit is the same. I've hired coaches, right? I've hired coaches because it gets so much easier. And remember earlier when you said, put aside your ego. I think oftentimes this is what stands between 
where you're at and where you want to be. It's this ego that tells you you can do everything yourself. And telling you right now, it's easier when you have someone that looks over your shoulders and that guides you. All right. Ask for help if needed. Tenth and last principle to get a high performing body. Keep going no matter what. And I think that is most important. Setbacks happen in life. You will face issues, obstacles, challenges, right? The microphone that didn't work. A client that wants to cancel. A flight that got canceled. Someone asked for a refund. Um, maybe you don't have water for a day. Like, <laughs> this all happened to us, right? This all happened to me. Um, what do you speak about your fitness journey? Maybe you get injured, right? You cannot work out for two, three, four weeks. Maybe you go on vacation and gain five kilograms back. The solution to all of that, keep going. Don't give up. Because this is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. It requires time and more time and time. And most important is that you keep going and you try to progress and get better, right? This is so freaking important. No matter where you're at, uh, sometimes it doesn't go the way you want it to go. You want to lose weight and now you've gained two kilograms. Well, monitor what you've did, check what you have to do differently. Maybe you have to hire a different coach, could be, right? But just keep going. Never, ever give up, right? If you take those 10 principles and apply them to fitness and to your business and to, you, to your life, then I guarantee that you will be successful. That's it for today. I hope you get some value out of it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and until next time, cheers.